I don't know what's more surprising, that Donald Trump chose Mike Pence or that Pence said yes. It's probably obvious to people that our styles are different, but I promise you our vision is exactly the no, same. But what is it? I will be voting for Ted Cruz in the upcoming Republican primary. Why do I feel like this relationship was arranged? Sure, Trump and Pence have had their disagreements, but these two disagree on so much they come across as one of those couples that everyone looks at and says, I give it a year. Like after Trump said, Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Pence shot it down. And after Trump said, If you are saying he can't do his job because of his race, is that not the definition of racism? No. This judge is giving us unfair rulings. Pence was quick to defend himself. Of course I think those comments were inappropriate. Trump has always been wishy-washy on women's reproductive rights. Meanwhile, Pence is so anti-abortion, he managed to defund Planned Parenthood in rural Indiana and inadvertently started an HIV outbreak. I'm just uh, another white, middle-aged Republican rising to speak on the issue of abortion. This is one of the nights in my life that I regret that I'm not a woman. Strange. Because when you make the laws, I regret that I am a woman. But for all their typical couple squabbles, like, is the Trans-Pacific Partnership good? Or was Saddam Hussein really all that bad? He was. There's gotta be something this power couple has in common, right? Well, both men were active in media before politics. Trump had The Apprentice. Mike Pence had the hit 90s Indiana radio show, The Mike Pence Show. Indiana's talking, The Mike Pence Show. Besides killer theme music, what do these two really have? Pence is the poster boy for the establishment, while Trump insists he's anti-establishment. The establishment, they are really trying to stop me. The establishment, lobbyists, and special interests are absolutely killing our country. But you know what they say, all good relationships are built on compromise. The system better than anybody else. Uh, he's very establishment in many ways, and that's not a bad thing. In fact, as their 60 Minutes interview highlighted, these two are gonna keep compromising, no matter how hard it is. Excuse Your running me. mate did voted for it. Him. I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? But I was against the war in Iraq from the beginning. Yeah, but you've used that vote that of Hillary's that was the same as Ms. Governor right. Pence. Many people as are. the example of her bad judgment. She's entitled to make a mistake every once in a while. <laughs> but she's not. Okay, come on. But she's we, not. So I guess we'll have to wait till November to see if this is a match made in heaven or a marriage of convenience. Save the date. This is your mic check.